Hello everybody, happy day to you. It is such a sunny day. It's August. Uh, if any of you were following me, last year I was in Chino paying $1,000 a month to live with that Chinese lady. Um, yes, where all of them spoke Mandarin and it was 105 and I would talk to Cassandra down here in Huntington and she would tell me the temperature and I'd be like, oh, I wish I could go down there. So now I'm down here and so are you with me right now. We are down here. Um, we are down here and that's a blessing. So wherever you are and whatever your day's going. Now, what I just did is an example of the only time you're supposed to look back. It's when there comes a little quickie there of when you look back and you see that this is cool or you could see this is better or you could see that because one I'm living for free <laughs> and two I'm here so yeah it's better hi um, so um, yeah that's that's the time yeah I was paying a thousand dollars a month no air conditioning was 105 so yeah and today I've already done three no six amazing help for pe with people love yeah I could tell you what they are uh, real quick um, let me see this morning oh what happened uh, well real quick let me think let me think a uh, lady was really suicidal I think all suicidal had, could, didn't have a private place to talk and normally she covers it up and you would never think it but I heard it and then when I got her alone got the moment I ran and kissed her on the neck and hugged her and gave her a big hug pulled her back uh, then uh, oh another lady it's so just six six of those things like that pull her back uh, and then my uber driver just now his uh, he's dying some disease and uh, He's alone and scared, and we talked about how energy and people, he thinks one of his cats, he told me this, people won't tell you this unless they, they think you're, you're okay. Uh, he thinks one of the cats is his mother, and she died when he was 11, and that cat makes him feel loved. He's a cat rescuer, uh, so we have some cats at the shelter that might need his help, so I got his phone number. Then I just talked to a guy who runs his own business, about how to handle people and the energy fluctuations with that and blah 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 so and this went on from there so cool yeah good job people so i hope you're doing things like that with one another and the reason is is because you might be depressed today like a lot of people are you might be fighting through it stop it and i'm serious because Google it. There's a scientific research. You think you're going to heal. You think this bad thing that happened to you is something you got to dwell on and think about. Yeah, it happened. It's not happening now. It hasn't happened in a week. Stop it. Because every energy we get, whether it's helping us or hurting us, if it's her is a balance of what your energy is. What is your energy? If you want your energy to be healthy, happy, and feel freaking great, then do that. It's a choice. Everything, you, I have chosen not to be a drug addict for 62 years. Yeah, I have. And I don't think we ought to give homage to people who are sober today unless they take ownership for their faults because I've made a choice differently and so did you hopefully. Uh, and I also think that we have to take care in protecting the white race, blonde hair, blue eyed people genetically because, hey, How are you? good job. Yeah, I'm trying. I know, it's hot. Oh, yeah. Uh, genetically, because those traits are falling under every time of somebody made, then it won't exist anymore. And you can't say that because you sound racist, but that's a fact. So we have to be able to speak facts. Drug addicts hurt people. And yeah, it's hard to get off drugs. Alcoholics hurt people. But if you have not been one, if you have not been one, 
And if you have hurt people, you've apologized, you keep apologizing, you've made amends. If you haven't hurt someone in a year, stop it. Get over it. And what you're going to have to do more than that is triple down on good. Triple down. 2.9. you got to put 2.9 happiness in. And if you sit there and try to give it just to you, me, 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 you're not going to be happy. But every time you do something good, I love you. So someone is pulling that back in and you're getting happy. So get out and in. So yeah, do it. Stop. But no more of this. Don't call the doctor like I did hear this lady doing today. And I saw how unhealthy it was for her. And talk about your drugs. Talk about your depression. And what she was talking about was something that happened to her. This lady's probably 50 or 45 or something. I don't care what age. That when she was 18. She's suffering from it today. And it happened when she was 18. It's not happening today. That lady can choose happiness. She doesn't have to go back to 18 good grief. It's over. Whack. Yuck. But if we keep focusing on the yuck, look what we got. We got yuck. So yeah, 2.9 good things to overcome the yucky shit somebody else has done to us. <laughs> it's a fact. So every time you think about the yucky stuff, it's not fake to be happy, even if something creepy has happened to you. It's smart to choose happy. So yeah, let's do it. I don't think y'all can see me. Okay, you gotta have the full body experience. Okay, let me get this flat because it's really hot today. Now, flat as we're gonna get. So this is a, we're gonna align. This is an alignment. Get wide. Yoke together your body, mind, and soul. internal everything you touch everything you see everything you experience is all happening in here in this witness pay attention to that let it be <laughs> now reach up now we gotta untighten this body from the world we gotta turn it into sand vibrating on a low frequency so we can see. We can't see the higher frequency. It's like the rubber band going real fast, we can't see it. So we're down here really low and soft and small. We come in here more. You know, let's don't give them names. Let's come like this. Oh yeah, let's don't.
regular down dog. One leg down dog front. Down dog. Right leg down dog back. Down dog. Leg over to the left. And down dog. Then we'll do three leg up, down dog. Two up dog. And three leg down dog. Up dog. Two up dog. Ah, breathe in. Three leg down dog. Open as far as Donna. Lock in all seven chakras. Two up dog. Now, feet up. Keep the hips up. Connect with that breath. Now come into plank, right here, chaturanga, I guess, that's what they say, that's what those smart yogis say, a little bit of ego there, okay, ready, side plank, leg up, now leg back, and well, now release while thing, all the way down, when my foot back here is right there and then when it's here or here so there's a difference in the flow of the body between where you are you and your parts the, the whole is this the parts are this but when they're together it's a whole new thing so yeah so we're doing a, you know, you want to combine the ability of the part, connecting it, the effect on the whole, in everything, everything we do. So we'll do back here. So now bring the foot back. Now we're going to bring it this awkward side and down.
is witness because I am you and you are me we are we so there's things in me you can see in you yeah cool huh yeah really cool things so I don't know if I'll post the video about what happened to me I've been down for like three days I went to rent your room basically and the guy wanted to have a be with me relationship with me it was weird you can see it on my TikTok I talked about it, but it, it sent me, I had to, I had to confuse me. It made me question everything about how I behave. And, uh, <laughs> and I, I had to um, go back in the shelter and try to find myself. I'm safe there. Now, this is strange phenomena too. I am safe there. This guy wanted to fix me wine and cook me dinner and I chose to go back to the homeless shelter and eat out of the vending machine. Now it either says I'm jaded, which I don't think so, or something wasn't right. It wasn't right with the guy. He thought it was and I didn't. Uh, and it seemed to society that it would have been cool. Everyone I told was like, I do that, I would. And, and so you see your unique self. It helped me see myself a lot more clear um, and ever since then I do I see the shelter different too like I'm safe there um, and it's a lot harder for me than I realize to be safe with people <laughs> I should have learned that a while back because it's kind of been in my face everywhere I've been um, and I don't want us to be safe with the kind of people I see. The roommate I had who tried to be, he kicked took, he tried to hurt me. I don't want us to be safe there. So if you're living with people that are mean, don't you don't want to be safe with them. And this guy, whoever he is, who would, who would want to be with someone so quickly like that without even knowing them, stop it. It was really bad behavior on his part. It was, my phone might be getting too hot. Yeah, it was really bad behavior on his part to, um, we'll finish up, to, it was really bad behavior on his part, on his part, he was renting a room, control yourself, but then it also speaks to how lonely he is, and he's such a good, it would be a great person to catch if you were in his age group and his, his people to catch him, he was a fantastic human being, um, Really, I, I would have seen, I talked to her for three hours, any, any trigger of unfantastic. Uh, but obviously, it so meets no one, he had to grab an opportunity with me. Who am I to have that happen? It was, or, it, or does he do it to everyone? He's just, he's gained skills. Now, if this is true, that society, if this is true, which I'm wondering if it is, that society has gained like we're trying to be good and kind, like that's my goal every day is to everything I do to be full of love, hope, joy, and peace. If there's another people out there, too many of them, that their whole goal is to see exactly how much they can fake people like me off. And that's their skill. 
And if that's true, then yeah, I'm safer in the shelter. Yeah. I hope it's not true, and it, but it's California is a pot for this happening, so it might be happening in your area slower, but be careful of it. And I think it's happening. It's happening. People are doing it all the time. They're fooling us. Um, and they're good at it. Oh, shit. Make it stop. Okay, everybody. How are we feeling? I feel chubby. I always feel chubby. I had the biggest breakfast. I'll tell you one thing that I'm doing is I'm eating more. <laughs> I've gained weight. It's hard to say, but I've gained weight. I'm eating more because I'm having these almost pleasurable conversations. When I have conversations like I had growing up at the dinner table, I can eat. I know what I mean because it's so much fun talking and eating. Um, and that's what's happened to me several times lately. I had uh, fried steak and biscuits and gravy this morning and I ate the whole thing and two eggs um, and I didn't even mean to eat that. So maybe this is how we get, I hope that, oh well, God, I hope that's how we're gaining weight. I hope we're gaining weight having beautiful conversations with each other at dinner tables. Oh, I hope that's happening. Oh God, I hope, and you don't even know what you're eating because you're having so much fun. Oh, now that's a cool way. But if you gain weight that way, I just own that and go, yay, happy, yeah. And then try to exercise or watch it. But I hope that's how. That's a pretty weight gain. <laughs> this place is a beautiful place. I don't know if y'all, I don't think my camera's picking it up when I'm down here. Okay, everybody, let's uh, warrior. We did our dog. Now, this is an example of the foot. In the sand, it's very comfortable to just go ahead from warrior two to crescent with the foot like that. Because crescent, if you tried it with me, is more challenging because of this foot. You put the foot here. That's where you put the foot for crescent. The foot goes back here. And then you open the wing, get a full crescent, and you swoop the earth and then you come up and then you're back. So it's a balancing crescent. But if the foot's here, it's easy. So maybe that would be a beginner crescent. Warrior two, warrior one. Now, I don't really have a weight problem right now, I don't think. But if you do, all these I just did, repeat 10 times. Yes. Play some loud music and repeat these 10 times. 10 times. Yes. So we'll go ahead. And let's hit our most sexual pose. You have to do that. This is it. And I like to throw in the life or. difficult abdominal way to come up is this way and you can do it a couple times this way and then hands here and the shoulders down and then drop hands around the head straddle your tasana I don't have to worry about Tookie being hot because the whole time we've been doing this, Tookie's been cold over there. So we're going to go run and catch the bus. I love you. I love you. Happy day. You can do more than you think you are. I know it. Uh, as humans. 